one. This is just going to be a bit of a quick first impressions from myself and Sweetie who is on my lap. Let's see if we can get her into view. There she is. Ow, 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 ow. She's got her claws out. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. So she's been a bit clingy just at the moment. Just suddenly shown some interest in me. Had to be exactly where I am. Now she's scratching her new throne. So let's get her under control. Quick first impressions on a brand new to me fragrance. Sorry for the rain. Plastic roof. You may have heard me say that before. This is Ellie Saab's Essence Number no. One Rose. Let me give it a little. I'm cleaning the bottle, just wiping off the fingerprints. So this arrived yesterday. I ordered it on Valentine's Day. So I ordered it on the 14th off eBay and it just arrived yesterday. And I was busy yesterday testing Alien Mirage for review. So I wasn't able to fully test it except spray it on a bit of paper. And then last night once alien mirage had gone and i'd done my review i sprayed all of my arms with this and i took it to bed with me because i do that sometimes with fragrances particularly the ones i'm really loving so i took it up to bed with me and i woke up several times i had a very strange night's sleep and having some weird weird things going on, dreams, really crazy dreams. And unlike me, had, having trouble sometimes sleeping. So I was really, really tired, but I couldn't actually go to sleep. So feeling a bit out of sorts, I guess, lately. And, but every time I woke up, I smelt my arm and it was beautiful, but it felt quite light. So I was re-spraying it. And basically I, I love it but I think it's probably a little bit weak in terms of projection. I don't know about longevity yet. Haven't really given it a chance to try longevity because I keep respraying it. <laughs> so um, I'm clean out of the shower. I've just had a little spot of, we'll call it lunch, skipped breakfast. And um, tonight I'm on night shift, so I try to delay my eating as late in the day as possible, try to not eat, because I've got a 12 hour night shift to get through, so I don't want to eat two meals at home and then have to um, get through 12 hours feeling concerned if I have more than a couple of meals. You know what I mean, I think. If you, if you worry about your weight a little bit, then these things are something to think about. Although my last night shift would always mean that the uh, the day that I wake up on my day off, already half the day's gone. So I end up only eating once on that day, which counteracts a little bit of maybe overeating on the first night shift, but you don't need to know about all this. So Ellie Saab, Essence Number no. One Rose is, I believe, I'm pretty certain, is discontinued. So we're gonna spray it on the back of my hand here. I'm gonna spray quite a lot. So, you can see the colour of the juice. You can't, you won't be able to see it, but there's just a slight tint to it uh, when you see like a, a rivulet. So I can see a little rivulet here that's sort of burgundy coloured, mahogany coloured on my skin. And when you first spray it, it is very vibrant, rich rose. It's like you took a load of dark, red rose petals and you condense them down in a big pot and you just condense and condense and condense to get the thickest jammiest rose there's a hint of a freshness but it's mostly dark so i wouldn't suggest there's citrus in here but there may be a a citrusy element to one of the rose ingredients if that makes sense some roses can come off a touch lemony for example so I would say that maybe one of the rose ingredients has something a little tiny bit fresh about it as well as being rich rose thick rose it's almost 
a touch woody like a dark wood but that is not not too present it's just feels like there's a touch of a backbone of dark mahogany wood for me it reminds me the most of Stella Rose Absolute from back when I used to wear it as my signature scent going back years and years and years before it got taken off the market for quite a few years and when it came back it didn't feel quite right at the time I didn't know anything about reformulation I just was so excited to see Rose Absolute back on the market that I bought a bottle for me and a bottle for my mum because she used to love it as well and then I remember just not feeling the same about it I felt like I, I I felt like I wasn't remembering it correctly and I remember my mum came round one day and I could smell perfume on her and I said oh that's nice what are you wearing and she said oh it's a Stella rose one that you got me and I said are you sure because it just wasn't the same I didn't have it didn't grab my heart like it did originally but this is reminding me of the original pre-reformulated rose absolute by Stella McCartney not to say it smells exactly the same because I've not smelled that for years and years. So we're only going from a memory. Um, but it's a very, very rich rose with just a hint of sweetness. The sweetness doesn't feel like it's coming from sugar or vanilla. It feels like it's coming from the rose itself. Like it's just naturally a sweeter rose. It is definitely dark I need to keep saying it it's dark it's probably a little bit gothic what I noticed when I was in bed last night and I was waking up and smelling my arm is that it had dried down to what I couldn't at the time pinpoint it all I could think was I love this like so at the moment I like this a whole lot I really like it but something happens and it doesn't take that long Something happens and what I now realise is it reminds me a little bit of Shupra Palatan by MDCI Parfums. Not the whole composition because that's a crazy, crazy, in your face, a million notes composition. In my opinion, it's a masterpiece. The opening is perhaps a little bit chaotic, but you give it 20 minutes or so and everything comes together and it's stunning. But it reminds me of the far dry down when I think it's labdanum. It's probably an amber accord with uh, quite a lot of labdanum. So it's like a sticky, sweet labdanum. And I feel like I'm getting a sticky labdanum from the dry down in here. There is no labdanum listed in the notes and no one else has mentioned it on Fragrantica. And I went, I went through all the reviews to try and get a, an idea of what other people thought about it. And there is no one saying it smells like labdanum. Apparently some of the notes, so Fragrantica only lists four different type of rose, but other people on Fragrantica have gone off and done some research and are saying that there's also cedar and benzoin. There might be some other note, but I can't really remember. I could see how cedar could be in here, but as very much as a very tiny, tiny player. And benzoin again, could be what's lending it that sweetness that I'm getting. And also benzoin does form part of an amber accord, often used in conjunction with labdanum and other resins, vanilla, etc., to make an amber accord. And to me, I feel like there is possibly just a little bit of a sticky amber base that is very much underplayed and only forming a small part of the fragrance. However, it just makes it absolutely stunning in that dry down period. This is probably not a very complex fragrance. The fact that Fragrantica just lists four roses, four different roses. Um, I can't tell you, I can't remember what all the different roses are and I don't actually know the difference at this time in ro different rose ingredients. That's something that's on my list of things to learn about because I think it's important to understand the difference between Damascus rose, Tafe rose, etc, etc. So that's something I'd like to learn about. But for now, it's kind of pointless me saying it's got this rose, this rose and this rose because I oh, don't really know the difference between them all. But 
if you imagine you've got different roses with different facets I guess so some are going to be as I said some might have a lighter nature maybe even as something that feels a little citrusy some might be heavier some might be sweeter some might be darker but this is the rose petal the rose flower no greenery whatsoever no thorns this is not rose prick this is not a rose bush this is purely the flowers the flowers with just a slight hint of something sticky underneath but it's not too sweet so that's just my first impression it's almost gone on into what feels like a full review i'm not qualified to fully review this because i haven't given it a full wearing a lot of people on fragrantica are complaining about the projection and the longevity i feel like it did go quite close to my skin quite early on when i was wearing it sort of overnight but as i say i kept falling asleep and waking up and i wasn't timing the, the times between it but every time I woke up, I could smell it on my arm, but it wasn't projecting, so I ended up spraying more. So that kind of gives me a hint. And I was thinking before I read the comments on the performance, I was thinking this seems to be a little bit close to the skin. So we'll see. I will definitely be doing a full review. I'd just like to say I got this on eBay at a bargain price. It was less than £40 for the bottle and I'm pretty confident I haven't got a fake but be careful because apparently there are fakes out there of these fragrances so just be very careful the prices on these have really come down so I think the full retail was somewhere around I could be wrong the full retail was around the 150 to 200 pound mark but they're no longer available in the usual shops that sell them at full retail you can find them on discounters, in the UK at least. Nortino has, a, has them for about the £50 mark and eBay does have a few as well, but just be careful with eBay. But, um, for the price, I am chuffed to bits. If it was at full retail, would I buy it? I need to do a full review to confirm that. I love how it smells, but if the performance is lacking, I probably wouldn't pay full retail for it. However, I'm not ready yet to comment on the performance. I can't give you my final answer on performance, but at the moment, absolutely loving the scent profile. It's probably a little bit linear. It doesn't do much apart from smelling like a thick jammy rose followed by a little tiny bit ambery rose, I think. So I usually am a bit averse to a linear scent, but in the case of this, I'm, I really don't care because I love it. I love the way how it, it smells so much. Also, I think I'll be using it as a layering fragrance because it is quite simplistic. So if I want to add a touch of rose to something, then I would definitely be thinking of using that one. So that is it for now. I will be doing a full review. So let me know if you've tried it. Let me know how your experience of it is. And I will see you in the next video. 